Over the past decade, Northland Woolens has established an excellent reputation for quality machine knit products. The kinds of things people need to keep warm. They make things like hats, mittens, and socks, qualifying their title as Minnesota's only hosiery mill. Jason and Maria Kohnhorst recently bought this very unique business. It was Maria's training and background in fashion and costume design that brought them into this venture. My background is in costume construction and design. I have a theater arts degree and a minor in fashion and tailoring. In the past, I would work at different opera houses or the circus. Sewing has always been a part of what I do professionally. The company started 13 years ago. Uh, Vicki Johnston was the founder. It was a 4-H project that she started with her daughter. They would raise Angora rabbits and they would clip the fiber of the Angora and Vicki, being the multi-purpose person, uh, decided that she would uh, spin it and make socks. Then she purchased some antique machines and started making socks for herself. Then she acquired some uh, silk machines and started another line. When I came into the picture, uh, she was looking for a designer, uh, somebody to manage the employees. And so I worked for her for a year. She decided to retire after that. And she gave me the opportunity to purchase the company. There aren't any people to come and fix machines when they break down. So she had to train Jason in all of the roles that she filled. Jason doesn't like to consider himself a knitter. He considers himself a heavy machine operator, but they're one and the same. These, these machines here, uh, these are all the sock machines here at Northland Woolens. Uh, there's a few more we have in a, what we, in a storage facility we refer, refer to as the graveyard. So whenever a part of uh, these machines break down, uh, we know where to go to get a piece. The machines on this side are called Bentley Comets. They are from the 1940s and 50s. They are old sock machines and they still work just fine. These machines, there are no computer parts, they're all mechanically run. Uh, they're all run on a line shaft uh, right down the center of the machine. So theoretically, if all the machines are working appropriately, they're going to work just fine and you'll be spitting out socks every couple of minutes on every machine. We do custom socks and we do the Angora sock, which is what we started with, which is why the rabbit is our logo. The yarn is custom made in Wisconsin for us and then we'll make socks. We have just recently had a relationship with Mountain Meadow Wool, which paints our yarn for us. And we've come up with a new style of sock. Um, in the past, all of our Angora socks were natural colored. Now we're introducing a little bit of a wild side to the Angora we definitely stick to the woolen product. Very popular with Northland's customers are the twice-baked mittens, made in part from recycled wool sweaters that arrive in bales of 100 sweaters. This is a, this is a thick one. Now this sweater right here was a Dale of Norway. If you're familiar with a Dale of Norway, it is a very expensive sweater. And then we'll make different mittens out of them. Now the buttons, I dye myself. The cuff is a brown sheep company yarn that we knit off of our antique machines. And then you've got your mitten itself. And depending on the color of the sweater, when it started off, we will either dye it to the colors that are most popular, um, or we take them natural. So there's those. You always got your nice fun ones. And depending, see how this one has little eyelets in it? We put a couple layers in there. Make sure that it's nice and warm and durable. Every once in a while, we will come across a beaded. Most of them are tiny little cardigans. Uh, some, some of them are hand done. Some of them are very old. And we'll make a mitten out of it. And those are very rare. Most of the time, it's people who come visit our shop and then we'll pull them out. Um, or we have an Etsy shop as well, and then we'll put those up there. There. These are the buttons. Um, we've got our cuffs down here. We have all the colors. They're to put the cuff on our mitten to add the last finishing touches to our mitten. Uh, we come here. These are where all the colors are. So we'll pick our buttons. 
you want something that complements it and you look at whatever the design is or whatever that's back here to go with what you've got. These are uh, twice-baked beanies is what we call them. They're made out of four sweaters per hat. In each hat, they're fully fleece lined. They come in very large sizes as well. And we make them solid colors or bright colors. And they're very, very warm. Now this is my husband's favorite hat. So on um, our twice bake line, uh, you know, anybody who comes in to, to recycle their old sweaters, as long as it is 50% animal fiber or more, and it doesn't matter which animal, uh, just so that it shrinks a little, uh, we give them a $3.50 credit towards anything made out of sweaters. Maria continues to design and develop new products. Okay, over here we've got a couple different things. This is our ear flap hat. Our tassels are all hand wrapped. I wrap them all. And you've got your fleece line and you've got your blanketing stitch. This snowflake has a little accent line in it. Uh, that's what we're showing this year for the ear flap. I try to take another little step further in making it unique as far as adding things that I've gotten from my past uh, that I want to add to the everyday garment. A hat with a snowflake is cute, but a hat with a crystal snowflake is even better. This is a new product, very, very hot. It is the arm warmer. They are fleece lined, 100% wool. We do custom orders of these, but they come in all kinds of colors. Great for air conditioned rooms. Uh, anybody who has arthritis or uh, just needs a little bit of warmth on their hands because, you know, in between the mitten and not wearing anything, you've got this. The brown is noticeable throughout them uh, because they are custom and the brown is, is what she had. And then we added our accent colors in there. The colored yarn is all brown sheep. And then I have some brighter ones uh, for a while there. As soon as I made them and somebody came in, they were gone. Very, very popular. Maria and Jason welcome visitors and they sell direct as well as wholesale. They just ask that you call ahead.